Hello darlings, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. What's up? How are you doing? Um, did you enjoy my previous video? I'm, I'm really hoping you did because I finally did a fashion, another fashion content and I was like, I hope you enjoy it. But anyways, today's video is more like a, a vlog, like kind of carrying you guys along um, as I go about my day or week or month and it's, I actually don't know how long this video is going to be but I just felt like I have pockets of events that happen from time to time that I want to share with you guys that are not up to the I cannot make them into one full video so I was just thinking maybe I should start combining them together and carrying you guys along so that's what this video is about um, first of all this morning I just want to give you guys an update on my skin things are getting pretty bad but I feel like I have finally found the reason why I, I am having these skin issues. I feel like it boils down to all the new um, um, skincare products I got the last time. I think I showed you guys that video in... I showed you guys those products in my birthday vlog. But I've just decided that from now on I'm going to stop all those new products I got. And I'm going to go back to using what I was using before. And kind of see if my skin will get back to... Like, I think it's like all the spots because I'm not the type to have pimples here, so I'm like super surprised. And they've been stubborn in the sense that they go in and come out, they go in and come out. They are not fresh pimples, they're the same ones where they keep going in and coming back. So I'm just like, I'm done. Like, <laughs> I need to deal with this issue before it gets out of hand. So today is Sunday, there's so much to do today. I just I clean the house a bit. I still have a lot of cleaning to do. I'm going to be stepping out. There's so much to do, but I just thought I was checking on you guys and carry you guys along on those things that I can. So first of all, I just I just had my bath. Nothing much. I can still see my hair is still uh, what's it called from waking up and all of that. I just need to comb it out. Um, I'm currently trying to do my hair and just take care of my skin. Oops, did I say? take care of my skin before i step out i'm supposed to i'm going somewhere actually but i just felt like i should check in up on you guys and oh i'm supposed to switch my bags today so i got this really really nice bag from my sister um <coughs> super excited to start using it so i'm going to switch um the things in my previous bag to the new one and i felt like i should i could actually show you guys um i could actually show you guys um as i do that and i also have to arrange my wardrobe going back to you guys have seen this in my previous video my beauty formula um facial tonic going back to using the product i was using before just to like get my skin back to what it used to be um so yeah i'll be arranging my wardrobe as well and then a few things yeah i've been thinking lately of becoming vegan i don't know I feel like it's something that is not popular here in Nigeria, but um, I feel like it's something I can actually do. I'm not the type to, like I'm not obsessed with having like meat or fish whenever I eat, although yes, I crave them sometimes, but it's not like to the point that I can't eat like my food without it. And also I just, I saw the health benefits and honestly there's so much that I'm wondering why can't I make that sacrifice, I mean it's just me to, you know. So I've been thinking about it. I've not made up my mind, but if I make up my mind, obviously, obviously, I'll let you guys know. Um, there's also something that um, I was really, I was thinking of recently. I don't even know if I should share, because you know, guys, I'm not the type to share my opinions. I just feel like um, it gives people an avenue to judge you or kind of um, <coughs> see you in a type of way so I try not to like share what I think as much as possible I'm just that kind of person but there's this topic I've been thinking of um, recently because I've been asking myself like how do I live my best life how do I um, show up as my best self and how do I get to that point I want to get to in life you know and honestly it's totally different from what the media portrays about living your best life um in my thoughts and what i concluded was i think we have this notion that living your best life is all about um you know traveling to certain places visiting certain restaurants basically spending money <laughs> money that um i would say i don't have but I just feel like i haven't gotten to that point yet 
I think people get carried away with what they see on social media. Like this person is at this event, this person is at that event. The truth is, your pocket, your pocket is not the same um, with that person. And I just feel like I'm somebody that I've come to accept. I think it was in the richest man in Babylon or something. If you can't afford something twice, then although it wasn't, it was Jay Z that said it. Yeah, Jay Z. It was like if you can't afford something twice then he doesn't think and still have much more left he doesn't think he should purchase that thing right so i'm more of that um um i believe in that actually like you shouldn't just spend money because you think oh i'm living my best life i'm living that person that i can be craving something <laughs> i used to do it in the past craving something and then i use my last card to buy it and i'm like i'm going to survive anyways i think i'm over that right now it's all about discipline you just have to be disciplined <laughs> You have to see beyond um, that immediate satisfaction and kind of think of what you could achieve in the future. So I'm more of like my mindset has shifted to um, when I get money, I don't just spend it on the things that I want. I want to see how I can double that money and know that my principal is still there. It's my interest I'm using to. Oops, like I've never had this before. My face is so rough here. It's so weird. It's my interest or oh, the money I use that money to make that I'm using to spend um, on things. And I think that's how people grow rich. I was even watching this movie recently and the man told his son that if you don't know how to keep track of every dollar in that you spend, then you're never going to get rich. And honestly, like, it's so true. It's so, so true. I've gotten to that point where I'm kind of tracking it. <laughs> even, even the 200 naira that I spend, I'm like, okay. Like I track everything now and honestly I've seen the results so um, don't get carried away what you see on social media you actually have to save and build a an income or income lines that can now sustain you living that like living your best life so it's not something that you kind of okay you're, you're depressed today you wake up tomorrow and live your best life and you empty your bank account things don't work that way I mean, at the end of the day you'll be the one suffering so you want to build first before you do that so that's where i'm kind of at when it comes to my mindset and all of that so like i said i have so much to do today i need to run out and, and come back and i mean i have so much to do i oh I just saw i think my eyes were upset but my boss has been telling me about this never really looked at it anyways i will look at it eventually so guys um yeah i have so much to do today and the week that's coming so i hope i'll be able to carry you guys along uh let me stop procrastinating and go and get my shit done okay guys as earlier discussed i've been to the market i am back now i'm also eating speaking of eating you know i told you guys i wanted to become vegan right oh sorry vegetarian whichever one it is like so is that different but anyways i bought chicken republic nigerians know chicken republic and if there's any reason why i like their food it's because of the way they prepare their chicken so i was like hmm, i think <laughs> i'm going to eat chicken whenever i buy chicken republic but i would not have a problem staying away from any other um, living animal <laughs> Oh, like my friend used to say creature <laughs> inside the food what creature inside the food but yeah so that's it good guys so you remember i told you i was going to be changing my bag that's what i'm going to be doing now this is the bag that i got from my sister i so so love it it's very i love the color i, love, I so love the vibe i feel like it fits the corporate world whatever so as soon as she told me she was moving me i was so excited i love this bag and i'm going to be changing and moving on my things here which brings us like a perfect opportunity to do like a what's in my bag i know i've filmed this video before the girl just been i have a lot of videos that are on my system i never saw um, got the opportunity to be able to upload it on youtube so um i guess i'll just do it all over again right now and you guys can find out what's in my bag so this is the bag i currently use for work I still love it but I use it every single day so it's kind of worn out. You know you don't have respect for a bag you carry all the time. <laughs> it's, it's just a mindset that I have. If I, I have bags that I just keep like hidden, I wear them for special occasions and all of that. But because I carry this one every day and by far this is like the most expensive bag I own. But 
for some reason because I carry it every day. I don't have respect for it. And it's also like some faces are bad. And I don't know, I just feel like lately I want something that is black. I feel like it goes with everything. This also goes with everything, but there are still some of my clothes where I'm like, mm -mm. no, 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 it doesn't. So, um, yeah, I'll be moving all my things from here into the new bag and you guys can come along and see what I have in my bag. This, I think this is like a perfect time to show you. So, first of all, I have this Jota. It's actually a Jota of my friend and her husband. I don't know if you remember the wedding we went for in Joss. Yeah, so this is like the souvenir. Yeah, so um, here I just have like, oops, I currently run a mini business. So, this is where I keep tabs and calculations. You can see all of that of what I do. And I also have my goals written here just, you know, to be able to look at them from time to time during the day. So I always carry this along with me. Then another thing I have is this Jota. This is my work Jota. There's so much going on in here. I don't even know how to show you guys. <laughs> There's just so much in my life, like so much going on in here. I don't think I can function at work without this book. It has everything, all my reminders, all the things I'm working on, especially over the weekend. You know, I just like to write down everything if I leave work on Friday. So once I get to work on Monday, I'm not like Thank you. Trying to remember where did I stop? Because once I'm off, like I switch off <laughs> everything, and then on Monday morning I resume again. So yeah, that's why I have this job. It always goes everywhere with me. Another thing I have here is money. I don't think I need to show you guys money. You don't need to see that. Then I have like my um, perfumes. I have this one. This was given to me by my customer. Um, I was like, oh my, you smell really nice. And she was like, really? I'll bring it for you tomorrow. And I really, I was like, I felt really touched because, like, I literally just met her. Like, I was trying to, we just met each other like a week ago, and she already brought this for me. So I really love it. It smells absolutely, absolutely nice. <laughs> oh my god, it smells really, really nice. Trust me. I wish you guys could smell it through the screen, but it's not possible. Second one I have is this one. I don't even know. I feel embarrassed to say just how I got this, but just know that I have this one, and it smells really nice too. It's really, 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 really nice. So whenever I'm stressed or tired, or I just feel like I can't perceive my perfume again during the day, I apply them. Then I have this mini Vaseline as well on my back. Then obviously I have ten because I have to write and all of that. Then I have a pad just in case you know you never know what happens and then I have my passport photographs just for whenever I need them so yeah that is all that is in this bag okay there's still one more pocket here okay I have Panadol just in case and then I have this drug it's called Loratidin I have serious allergies so whenever I start feeling something is funny I could really take it so it doesn't turn into anything serious so yeah that is all. I'm going to miss this bag. <laughs> We've done so many things together. <laughs> We've been to so many places together. I'm not abandoning it, but I just feel like it needs rest. I've worn it. I think I wore it. No, yeah, I've worn it every single day in, ever since I bought it. But then there were some days I changed my bag. But like those days I changed my bag, I know about 10. So this bag has suffered <laughs> seen the light, that same day like the most. So I just feel like I should retire from now. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to put all these things in my new bag. Rise and shine. Good morning, lovers. Good morning. Welcome to the Abiri household. Oh my god, my skin. Okay, so guys, good morning. I actually woke up like few hours earlier but I didn't really want to and I wanted to check up on you guys so I was like yeah please check up on you guys I have to do it when it's a little bit bright so you can at least see my face so yeah good morning today is the 27th of August um yeah it's a Saturday as usual the only time I have to film from here to kind of give you guys a rundown of what my day is going to be like because i'm going to carry you guys along with me so yeah um first of all last week was my trial week of trying if i could go vegan and i have to say it was quite quite a challenge i actually did kind of okay i mean i was able to successfully 
um, not eat uh, or not put meat in my food and then when I bought food from us I actually didn't eat it but then I struggled several times because I'm somebody who eats or who has at least sausage roll once in a week and we all know that sausage is obviously from a living thing <laughs> so I found that very very difficult to resist I was just like oh, there's no way I'm giving up my sausage roll <laughs> you know so yeah I actually had my sausage roll and then one major thing that happened was yesterday i'd done well from monday to thursday and then all of a sudden yesterday i was just craving something i was craving puff puff actually so i left the office i had driven to where i like like to purchase it because their puff puff is really nice so on my way there i now saw this um suya guy this guy buys suya and then before you know it i actually um stopped by uh, but it and it was actually when i was on my way back to the office i realized oops you know we're trying to be but like trying to see if we can come back to being vegan and but since i already bought it i was like you know what i'm going to eat it and <laughs> i'm going to try again next week so yeah um if i was going to give myself a percentage kind of like how did i do i'd say i did like 30 percent okay i just need to avoid the things that i couldn't resist this week next week kind of see i've come to realize that it's not something you can just switch on and off like being vegan it's something you gradually transform into so i'm going to give myself the time and i'm just going to allow myself to be gradually i'm not going to spread on myself or push myself whatsoever so yes guys um today <laughs> i have quite a number of activities to do so first things first i have um I'm going to get inducted into the Chartered Banking Institute of Nigeria, um, which is CIBN. Um, it's a virtual induction event, so it's not like I'm going to be doing a lot, but that's happening at 11. Um, it's something I've actually been working on for some years now, <laughs> and I actually have a story behind it. It's not really a big deal, but come on, it's a big deal. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, I'm becoming Chartered Banker, so it's a big deal, but then, um, I have a story because I had to rewrite um, some of my exams twice and it just kind of taught me patience and it's just so much that I feel like I have gotten out of this experience not finishing when my pairs finished is one of them and then learning the patience and understanding some things that is also part of it so so many things but then I am getting inducted today it's a virtual induction um, that's one of the things I have for today. I just felt like I should give you guys a rundown of the things that I have to do today. So I have my induction ceremony. I'm also, um, I'm, I have an appointment with something I'm going to be announcing with you guys later on towards the end of this video. So I'm going to be meeting up with my sister. We have several places we have to go to. And then, obviously my phone is bad. I need to go and get the battery changed. Then, um... I also need to go and purchase something or kind of like shop for it ahead of time just to see what the market is saying about it and then I also need to change my hair I'm going to be taking out these braids I don't even know if I should do that before I step out or after but I know I have to do that today as well so those are <laughs> part of the things I have to do today I feel like I always give you guys a wonder of what I have to do but I'm not sure if I can actually carry you guys along throughout the day but i'll try to be accountable <laughs> this time around and actually take you guys along so yeah let's open this day up and uh let's get started <laughs> The announcement I said I had for you guys was this. So I and my sisters, we have a job to kind of decorate this whole. 
you know, to design the furnitures and get everything inside of it. He's like a tour, but so I get to plan where, what to go and all of that. So, yeah. So guys, we've just barely figured out. Just a sneak peek, obviously, you guys see the finished results. Kind of figured out where the bed will be and all of that. So, yeah. Look at it very well the before so that the after will make so much sense. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is bathroom. I'll give you a quick review of what we're going to do. We would have a um, shelf theme going on here. Then here we would have um, like another, like a towel holder. You know those ones that you kind of stick on the wall? We have it here. Then we would have a cabinet here with a mirror door so that she can see herself whenever she's having her shower and then we'll have like a functioning um uh what's it called here as well so she can put her sponge and all of that so they can drain and dry up so that's the plan we have for the toilet for now and yeah let's move to the kitchen and kind of figure out what we'll be doing there um i'm really looking forward to what the outcome will eventually be like so guys, after checking out the apartment, we went out to get some stuff, obviously according to what we've planned. And then we just kind of spent the rest of the evening together, um, which brings us to the end of this video. I have to say thank you for watching till this um, moment. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and also share what you think in the comment section. Bye!